Welcome, everybody. I've finally been given permission by Zoss to discuss a select few things that they're willing to let me talk about. And so they've removed the watermarks from my PTS experience so that I can make a few videos following their guidelines. For Morrowind, this is the public test server. This is patch 3.0.2, I believe, and I can't show you very much as far as quests go, but um, what I want to talk about today is the housing. So as far as the housing goes, there will be at least, I think to start, I don't know if they're going to drop all the houses at once, but to start, there are three housings available in Morrowind. So, I have already purchased the two bigger houses that are going to be available. It's going to be the Ald Valafi Harbor House and the Amaya Lake Lodge. There's also a starter apartment, which um, you can get by going through the quest to get the, um, well, I haven't even picked up that quest yet, but there's a quest, a friend in need, that you pick up from the banker in, in Varvendale, here in Vivek City. So, you pick that quest up, and it's very similar to the other zones where you have to go through a couple of dungeons and complete some tasks, and then you get the chance to own that house. Okay, here is the preview of the place. This is called the St. Delin Penthouse. If you have already completed a friend in need, then it will cost you 3,000 gold. So if you do have a, a character that has not gone through that quest, you can get this house for free. Or if you've created a new character that has not done this friend in need quest, you can get this house for free. But otherwise, it's going to be 3,000 gold. Let's look at the design and the space. It's a very open space. You get a really nice candle. Very, very nice little apartment now for you. This could hold a few things. But I've completed the quest, so I can go ahead and get this house for free on this character. Okay, so I have finished my quest, A Friend in Need, and I just would have to talk to Canthian. He stands in all zones, where wherever you finish this, he will stand in front of the apartment that he um, will give you in that zone. So, uh, right here, you talk to him, give him what he wants. Then he gives you this anthology of abodes available for acquisition, and you complete the quest. And now, this house is mine, so it's mine for free. Okay, now that we've got our free apartment, I'm going to go ahead and preview the, the larger houses. So, let's go with... The at oh, oops. All right, so let's start with the Ad Ald Velathi Harbor House. It's a Redorn style home on the coast north of Nissus. This three-level home in the Redorn Bug House style comes with a walled courtyard, a nearby dock, and convenient access to the nearby ruins, which I cannot pronounce. It's a classic style house, and so we will go ahead and travel to the house. All right, we are at the Ald Velothi Harbor House. I'm gonna turn off my HUD so that you can actually see something here. So as you can see, it's a big round house. It is apparently made out of a gigantic shelled creature. 
and it has a beautiful walled garden and a well, a little storage shed, a door. There's another door here I believe you can use. And then you have sort of a back wall that, that uh, joins up with the back of the house, so you can't go all the way around the house. Now, it, it is really quite beautiful, and this is un this is furnished, just so you know, uh, because I've already bought it furnished for the fake one crown in this public test server. I cannot tell you how much it's really going to cost once we go live, because the prices in the public test server are not final though so, and also the public test server does not tell you how many crowns it's really going to be so this has some rooms in it off to the side and the first version i th i think this is going to be your best bet you know whatever it costs i would go for the furnishing because the furnishing in here is top notch redoran style it's quite quite nice Unless you're a master crafter and have learned a lot of fancy furniture already, this would still be the best bet. I mean, look at this bed. It's a little messy, but it's, it's really awesome. So what you get for whatever the price is going to be, you're getting a lot of stuff in this house. A lot of beautiful rugs. You're definitely get, getting some very stylish items. So. There is a downstairs, which I'll just kind of run down there because uh, not much, but it's, um, you know, another room downstairs. And I can manage running up the stairs in circles. All right, then uh, there's an upstairs with a, a ledge and more items that you get with the furnished version. Look at the detail on the walls of the hardened, it's like a hardened clay. You do get quite a lot for the furnishing. You get lots of beautiful um, paintings that have to do with Barfindel. So these are unique to the zone. And then out here you have like a door, you have like a, a small balcony, very rustic balcony with a wonderful view. I mean, look at that view. So that's what you get for this house. Okay, this is the Amaya Lake Lodge. This is in the Halalu style. Enjoy the opulent luxury of a country lodge built by the Dark Elves of an earlier, more expansive era. A walled estate with a grand multi-story house, roof, balcony, stable, storage building, a well, and room for a formal garden. It is a classic type home. And I just noticed this, that you can rename homes. Uh, that's interesting. That's kind of new. Let's travel to the home. Okay, so here we are at the Lake Lodge. I'll give you a view of this. Um, this is also furnished, and I've put some stuff out that's not that you don't get with the furnishing. So this is very expensive. There's a large, large yard. Fast forward a little bit over here. Here's your well. And then you come down here and there's another exit to the rest of the world. So this is quite open. You can see the rest of the world outside. So it looks quite stunning. 
gorgeous. Both of these homes so far have been just gorgeous in the details. Look at the look at the scroll work on that wall. Gorgeous. So then we go look at the detail on that house just blowing me away. So here we go. This is a three-story home. They're both the both of them are technically three stories. So this is the furnished version. You get tons and tons and tons of stuff. I mean, it would take you hours and hours and lots of gold and materials to craft everything that you get for a furnished home. And I like the style. It's very beautiful. Very elven style. Paintings, rugs. You got the stairs. You have quite a very tall feel, feeling here. There's lots of space. There's no claustrophobia going on in this house. So you get a beautiful library if you buy it furnished. And a, a side room here. That roof. Very, very stylish. And then you go out here. And there's nooks and crannies out here on the on the little deck. But that's not all. We're gonna get to the third story. When you go up these stairs, so it's like um like a separate quarters. Maybe it's your mother-in-law's quarters. So Go in and see what that looks like. So this is actually a two-level apartment on top of a two-level house. So I guess technically you'd call it four stories, really. This is sort of like a half story. There's an area up here. Not, not quite as opulent as the main house, but it's still quite beautiful. And then you do get a little deck out here. And somebody has forgotten to put more railings here, so you probably fall to your death. But come out here and there's a little kind of like a bench area. Well, I guess you could call it a bench, but you can't sit on it. And then you have a beautiful view. Okay, so that is it for the housing preview. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know what these are going to cost, but I'm going to have one of them, that's for sure. Somebody is going to buy me a house. So I will see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video.